Thank you. I first wish to acknowledge that we are on Treaty 6 land, as well as the traditional lands of the Métis and Inuit. Thank you once again for attending here today. And I also would like to thank Minister Garneau, who I'm now going to hand this off to uh, with regard to an infrastructure investment in Alberta Industrial Heartland. Thank you very much, Brian, and uh, also hello to Terry and Steve and Tim. Uh, good to be here, and uh, hello to everyone in Sturgeon County. Good afternoon. I'm very happy to be here in uh, Sturgeon County with Can Do with some good news for the region. You know, the quality of Canada's transportation infrastructure and the efficiency of our trade corridors are key to the success of Canadian firms in the global marketplace. It's key to growing the economy and to creating quality jobs for Albertans. That's why our government is working tirelessly with industry and communities to identify key infrastructure projects that address bottlenecks, vulnerabilities, and congestion along our trade corridors. Today I'm pleased to announce uh, that our government is investing $15 million to help move Alberta's products more efficiently on the Western Canadian Rail Network. Je suis heureux de vous annoncer aujourd'hui que le gouvernement investit 15 millions de dollars pour aider à améliorer l'efficacité du transport des produits de l'Alberta sur le réseau ferroviaire de l'Ouest. This funding will be added to the very significant funding that CANDU is making uh, in this project. This funding, which is awarded under the National Trade Corridors Fund, uh, will allow CANDU rail services to build a new car rail storage yard in Sturgeon County with room for over 1,900 cars. Ce financement qui est attribué dans le cadre du Fonds national des corridors commerciaux permettra à CANDU Rail Service, services de construire dans le comté de Sturgeon une nouvelle aire d'entreposage pouvant accueillir plus de 1900 wagons. The improvements include a large loop track, 32 parallel storage tracks with space to assemble trains, and a connection to the CN Rockyard rail spur. This investment is expected to create an estimated 880 jobs during construction, but we know that many more will be supported as hundreds of thousands of Albertan families rely on the capacity of our rail infrastructure to get resources to market. Since 2015, through the National Trade Corridors Fund, we have supported over $1.9 billion in investments in transportation infrastructure along the Western Corridor, including over $800 million directly from the federal government. All Canadians benefit from well-functioning trade corridors that allow us to reach international markets and compete on the world stage. The investments I've just announced will make our transportation system stronger and promote long-term prosperity in this region. I'm delighted that uh, we can get to partner with CANDU, who have been providing important services to their clients throughout the years. I think the fact that the majority of employees uh, are shareholders gives them a sense of pride and commitment that is often only found in small-sized businesses. CANDU is a great example of Canadian entrepreneurship, and I'm confident it will continue to grow and prosper in the years to come. Thank you very much. Pass it back to Brian. I'd like to thank um, Minister Garneau and the federal government for their belief in this project. I would also like to extend a hand of thanks, Sturgeon County, Alberta Industrial uh, Heartland, as well as the Alberta provincial government for their assistance in getting this project up and running. As the minister mentioned, this is about getting product, Alberta product, to international markets faster. This is a great event for Alberta as a whole, for Sturgeon County and all of Alberta Industrial Heartland. We have time now for several questions, if there are any. No works very well. No? Thank you very much for your attention. Oh, sorry, I apologize.